thinking. Right, hello there guys, hello, hello, welcome to another stream on a Saturday. Oh yeah. Welcome everybody, welcome passengers. Today guys we're going east, we're going underground, and we're going north. Let me just explain. We're starting on the east coastway. Then we're going underground in London. And then... I'm not going to give it away. But I've got a surprise up in the north for you. It's not the... <clears throat> Let me just cut this clear. I'll make it easier. It's not a custom scenario. No, 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 no. But it's something on the North Transpaline, and that's all I'm giving away. <laughs> so you'll just have to wait until we've done the East Coast way and the London Underground. Now, the reason why I'm doing the East Coast way and the London Underground is because DTG have put out two articles to do with <coughs> the Electro Stars and 1938 stock. So that's the reason why I'm splitting it in two. But yeah, as I say, if you enjoy my Train Sim World 2 content, guys, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And also, the links to the Discord, the YouTube, and the Twitch are down in the description. <coughs> so if you're on a, sorry, bear with me. <coughs> Yeah, so if you want to head over and look at those guys, the link to the YouTube is down in the description. So if you want to go and have a look at my Train Sim World 2 playlist, it's available on the YouTube. There's about 91, 92 videos on there worth of Train Sim World. So, anyway, let's crack on and let's do some East Coast Way. We're doing a run from. We're not starting from Brighton. No, 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 no. This time we're starting from Eastbourne. Yeah, we're starting from Eastbourne and going back to Brighton. Because when we did the last, <coughs> the last um, newswire newsletter, whatever you call it, we started we do from Brighton to Seaford, Seaford to Brighton. This time we're going Eastbourne to Brighton this time, so we're doing it slightly different. So. Okay, we'll take the Hastings service. So yeah, it's about 39 minutes long, even though it'll take longer than that. But yeah, I say we'll go through the articles, so this article will go for well this article this part of the run will go through the electro duet news article when we jump onto the underground we'll go on the underground news wire and then I'll bring you something special towards the end but yeah. Right, let's uh, set up. Yeah, we'll go for the news article, guys, when we get underway. So, day running lights. Put you into forward. Right, let's jump. <coughs> let's jump out. Don't do that. Yes, so, as you can see, the destinations are working here at Eastbourne. We are a five car service. And we are driving 377 432. 
in southern livery. And let's close that door actually. Door. Doreen. Yeah, I'm on a red. <clears throat> so I've got to wait for that service next door to me to leave. But the next station stop is Hemden Park, anyway. Lovely jubbly. Pudding and pie. And yeah, as I say guys, this will go up on YouTube, so... Because as I say, I'm going to do this stream and then... After this stream... Will be... A different game. So I'm getting the train to World 2 out of the way first and then a different game afterwards, so yeah. And so if you're watching this on the Twitch, feel free to hit the follow button as well if you enjoy Train Sim World 2 content, all sorts of content. Right, there we go, we've got a yellow. Yeah, so the game, <clears throat> the game I'll be streaming after this, guys, will actually be Subnautica Below Zero because I've actually figured out how to actually get that game properly started. But yeah, if you're not interested in that, guys, that is completely and utterly fine. I'm just letting you know what my next streaming game is, so. So for this, <coughs> sorry I've got a bit, I don't know what's going on. So for this service we will be calling it Hampton Park, Polgate, Berwick, Gl Glidey, Lewis, Falmer, Moorscombe and Brighton. So. And I've probably pronounced the Glide complete and utterly wrong, so if you have noticed that guys, feel free to put it in the comments down below. But yeah, once we get past this first station we'll start going through the article. And I will link the article, the DLCs, the game all that down below, so... And if anybody is wanting to know, am I getting London Commuter? Yes, I am, because I have the season ticket. So, because I have the season ticket, it will give me access to a London commuter. So I will bring you a London commuter. Which I know everybody is excited for, so... So yeah, as soon as it's available to down well yeah download install get it onto train sim world two then there we go but yeah if anybody else as well is having trouble with the um, with still DLCs missing contact the DTG team to see if they can help you sort it. So 
I'm coming up to a red light, guys. But yeah, like I said, we'll do this East Coastway route. Yeah, East Coastway run, then London Underground, and then we'll head up north. Yeah, in yesterday's stream, guys, which was train similar to, <coughs> yesterday I decided to do some American stuff because I thought, I always do British stuff, always. So I thought, do you know what? I'll change it to a bit of American stuff. And also to inform people, have I looked at Dresden? Yes, I have. Have I looked at Boston Sprinter? Yes, I have. Have I got streams of Boston Sprinter in Dresden? Yes, I have. Available over on my YouTube channel. So feel free to head over and look at those. Feel free. Yeah, denied. I think we've got a train in the platform, haven't we? Yeah, the train's just left. So it looks like we're train chasing. That's going to be fun. Yeah, so on this route guys, I'm not going to be jumping out getting collectibles because I've nearly got every single collectible on this route anyway. green, that's good. Yeah, and as I say guys, the reason why I didn't do Train Sim World 2 on Thursday is because I took a day's break away from it, because, well, just before that, I did about 19 streams worth of Train Sim World 2, which was just insane, so that's the reason why I took a break on Thursday from it. I was going to take a break yesterday, but then I changed my mind. But yeah, when we leave this station, we will crack on with the article. We've got about 2.3 miles to uh, Polkate, anyway. Right, anyway, let's crack on with the article. The uh, article is called Electrostar Dewitt. That's what the article is called. So, first uh, paragraph says, The unmistakable sound of an approaching train are getting louder. But which one? We take a look at the magnificent electro multiple units featuring in rush hour London commuter. Coming soon, guys. Coming soon. To Train Sim World 2. With the upcoming Train Sim World 2 Rush Hour London commuter route, you'll take control of two well known Elect Electrosar family units. The British Rail Class 377 4 in Southern livery and the British Rail Class 387 EMU. Sorry, I'm just keeping an eye, guys. In Govia's striking Gatwick Express livery. In addition to this, you will have the plethora of optional layers 
and AI services that a variety, that a variety of other add-ons offer. You will be safely and efficiently, well, your job will be to safely and efficiently drive these power unit, powerful units across a busy Brighton mainline. Staying on time between London Victoria and Brighton during the hectic rush hour. Wow. So, just in that one paragraph, it talks about the units, the 3774 in Southern Livery, which is kind of the 377 that I'm driving at the moment. Well, actually, no, it's the exact loco I'm driving at the moment, the 3774, which is very good. And then the striking Gatwick Express, Express, Gatwick Express striking 387 EMU. Now, as you're aware, the e, the 387. Yeah, the 387 either comes as third rail or third rail and overhead. Now with this 387, are they going to keep it just third rail? So it just runs up and down the uh, Brighton mainline and that is it? Or are they going to put the pantograph equipment on it as well? So you can say, do you know what? Let's take it and use it on a different line. Ah. That would be different. And then also, as it says, where is it? Optional layers and AI services. So, if you looked in the last article, guys, of the London Commuter, the first screenshots article where it said where it showed you can use the class 465 that guys is a layer if you don't own the 465 you will not get the 465 layer so in other words you won't see the 465 AI services at all but if you do own a 465, yeah, you will see the AI services. So, yeah, seems quite interesting. And then, as I say, trying to keep on time between London, Victoria and Brighton. Well, that there is a challenge in itself. I'd say trying to stay on time between London, Victoria and Brighton in rush hour. Yeah, in other words, guys, it's, it's trying to say, can you keep up to time? That's what we're trying to say. Can you keep up to time? Can you keep the train on time? Right, I've made it to you at a Poles gate. But yeah, they're the most powerful units across the busy Brighton, 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 and say Brighton mainline. And then the next, the other part of that uh, paragraph says, let's take a closer look at both of these distinctive electrostar units and get a better understanding of their unique features. So that's why we, that's where we might get the answer to if the 387 has a pantograph or not. Hmm. Right, to Berwick, 3.8 miles. So, let's take a look at the Southern BR Class 3774 EMU. And yes, I'll link this article down below, guys. So you can see the pictures and everything that are included. So, following a successful bid in, two, in 2003, 
Govia was awarded the initial franchise for the line from 2003 to 2009, and then subs- subsequent franchises to this day. In 2004, they chose to rebrand the previous South Central. If you don't know the South Central guys, I would actually take a look on Google to see what South Central is. Yeah, the South Central name and livery. Taking inspiration from the pre-grouping past Govia Creative Respects for Tribute in both name and design and retaining this distinctive eye-catching livery featuring green which is synonymous with railways in the south uh, south of England with the name Southern a polite nod to the illusional Southern Railway that served the route and those between 1923 and 1947 so let me just clear up between the 1923 and the 1947 let me just clear that bit up between 19 between 1923 and 1927 1927 wrong year between yeah say 1923 and 1947 was when the big four were military made the big four were LNER LMS GWR and Southern. So LNER, London Northeastern Railway, don't get mixed up with the 2000 and well, don't get mixed up with the 2018 version. LMS, London Midland and Scotland. GWR, Great Western Railway, don't get mixed up with the modern day Great Western Railway. And Southern. So they were the big four until 1947 when when the British government took over and rebranded the railways, British Railways. That's where we get the words British Rail from. So yeah. So it's a good job that Southern have gone. Okay. Back in between 1923 and 1947, the railway, the carriages, were green. So they've gone. Do you know what? We'll paint our trains with a bit of green. It fits. So. Move on to the next paragraph. The BR class 377 and each of the subclasses were built by Bombardier Transportation as its Derby Litchurch Lane works from 2001 to 2014. So that's quite a lot of 377s. And the four-car BR class 3774 EMU featured in rush hour London commuter were built throughout 2004 to 2005. And there goes a 377 in the opposite direction. So I had to put iron to put brakes on. A total of 75 BR class 3 class 3774s. EMUs were produced making a most nu- numerous subclass of the BR class 377 to appear across the network. Services in rush hour London commuter feature 4 car, 8 car and get this 12 car trains depending on the service. So, right, break that down. Between London, Victoria, and Brighton, you would generally get 
a 12 car train or an 8 car train generally or in the sometimes it, um, it's very rare to get a 4 car train it's very very rare so yeah a, t a 12 car train a 12 car train is three class three seven sevens an eight car train is two class three seven sevens and i think you get the idea now now we've just arrived at the next station but yeah a total of 75 of them were built that's the class three seven seven four alone not not all the other subclasses right oh and there's a nice picture as well and another nice picture Okay, they were designed to replace the dated slam door stock that was undeniably at the end of its working life. The BR Class 377 EMU feature a variety of modern features for its time. All varieties include the 3774 have the capacity to receive a 750 VDC from third rail so the third rail guys is that rail if you look at the window here look to the right the rail is the third rail that runs alongside the track that gives you 750 volts DC so that's how these trains run with some subclass cousins have the additional option of a pantograph and drawing from the 25 kV AC from um, AC from the overhead. That subclass there, guys, that they're talking about there, is the class 377/5 that was run by First Capital Connect, Thameslink, those two companies. Now the th class 3775s are run by Southeastern. So there we go. This variety of subclass meant that those like the class like the 3774s, which didn't have pantographs, are left with a clear void in the roof where the pantograph could be fitted. This leaves the freedom for the future conversions if required. So Let's just jump outside a second. And go back here. See this gap back here, guys? This humongous gap that I'm looking at. That is where the pantograph would be fitted. So, if in the future terms, the 377s, these ones, 3774s, right went to a different operator that had overhead lines right it wouldn't take that much trouble to go do you know what we'll take the third rail off these locos off these units and we'll just clunk a pound to graph on the top yes it will cost a bit of money to do the fitting charges but with these class 377s are very unique so you can have that's it I think it's the 3772s I think it is well 3771s I'm not sure have third rail and a pantograph yes yeah, the ones that run between Milton Keen Central and a Clapham Junction so yeah there we go so I just keep flicking over. Right, the next, the final pantogra pantograph. That's because I was talking about pantographs. Right, the final paragraph of the three seven seven. Passengers and driver. Well, passenger and driver comforts were also fitted to these modern units. For example, well, like air conditioning, external cameras on board toilets, and spacious areas for prams and wheelchairs were included across all subclasses and were popular amongst passengers and staff 
However, they weren't without their challenges. Major upgrades were required of the dated Southern Region 750 volt DC third rail power supply to facilitate the introduction of these units. This was due to the significantly high powered consumption of each of the fully air conditioned units. Right. <sighs> so, break that down. Cameras. So, some of you are probably wondering what these weird sticky out bit things are on the side of trains. Not this, no, but this. That is a camera to see. So, the camera, let's go here. So, the camera sees from there all the way down the train. Same as on this carriage, this carriage, and actually, hang on. Oh, and here. So, yeah, they're cameras, so the driver can sit here in his cab with his hot caffeinated beverage right and all he has to do is look at these two screens here these two screens are the cameras on the right hand side and the left hand side and I am actually it's a good job of coming into this next station because If I can stop in time. Hopefully I can stop in time. Uh, no, I haven't done that last any. Right, anyway. Talking about there, do, 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 where is it? Spacious areas and all that. So we will leave this station shortly. Ow. So spacious areas, well there's none in this carriage. So you get Sorry, we will shift home shortly. No, it's not that carriage. So let's go back. The three seats are really irritating. Uh, that's not one. So spacious areas. So here, right? This is kind of quite spacious. He wasn't st sat there. You could probably flip that seat up. But over here, you've got because this actually this plasticky thing here is, as it says, well here there's an alarm. But actually, this I might be wrong can actually be a table. Same as over here. Over here is the disabled toilet. So, wheelchair users, pramchair users can enter. Come on the train. Don't have, don't have to fold their uh, prams up. Don't have to fold their pushchairs up. They can just go in this area, stand up. So, in other words, a mum could get on with their child put their pram here and just go, do you know what, my child can stay in the pram, I'm just going to sit here and I'm just going to keep an eye on him. 
simple as that. So yeah, that's this is what we mean by spacious areas. So yeah. Anyway, let's get back in the cab. Close the door. But yeah, the dated trains that used to run on this line, they're talking about your 421s, your 423s, and all that sort of thing. You know, oh, and the 411s and the 412s. Those sorts of things, that's what they're talking about. And yeah, as a external cameras, air conditioning, these trains do have air conditioning. <laughs> Haven't been on one in real life, but I've seen YouTube videos of it, so. Oh, and also, I forgot to say this, they also have, when you sit down, they have lights up above. So you can be sat in a passenger seat with just the airline table, right? And it's very dark outside, right? And you want to read a book. Look up above you, there's a switch. It can flick the reading light on for you. Aha. Uh -huh. Anyway, we're moving on to the Gatwick Express Spes. Gatwick Express. BR class 387 2s. Now, don't get mixed up here, guys, with the Great Western Railway Class 387s and the Great Northern 387s and the C2C 387s. Don't get mixed up. They are two different um, trains or units. Anyway, much like their older electro style cousins, the BR Class 387 2 EMU was built at Derby Lynch Church Lane Works. I'm keeping an eye on the thing. The first of these VIDs four car unit entered service in early 2016. A total of 27 were ordered to replace the BR class 442s on the Gatwick Express services. The brilliant red chosen by Govia for the Gatwick Express livery is by the far most striking liveries to grace the British Railways network, bringing a dose of colour to the often mutton background of the London skyline. Yeah, I would agree the red is a bit like, whoa, okay, it's a bit more like, very striking. Y yeah, you don't want to look at it. But yeah, going back to the class 442s, if you've, um, if you live in the UK and you used to commute between London Waterloo and Portsmouth Harbour Portsmouth South Sea and Southampton with Network South East, South West Trains and South Western Railway. They would have made a um, appearance on there. So if you've been on one, you know exactly what 442 is. Now, don't take this the wrong way, guys, but they have the nickname of Pig. It's just a nickname. Because they look like pigs. So. But yeah. And if you haven't seen a 442. 442. That means don't get mixed up with the. Uh, DB. BR442. No 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 no. It looks completely different. This is the BR class 442. Very different. Yeah. Two different trains. <laughs> Yeah, right, next paragraph. The Gatwick Express service are non-stop express services from London Victoria to Gatwick. Also, don't slow down that too much. And also continue to, sorry, I just need to have a sneeze, guys. Ugh. Sorry about that. Needed to sneeze. 
Anyway, where was I? Yeah, the Gatwick Express services are a non-stop express service from London, Victoria to Gatwick Airport and also continue to Brighton, stopping at a handful of major stations comparing to their southern counterparts. So, stations that get the Gatwick Express stops at. You've got London, Victoria. They sometimes stop at East Croydon. Sometimes. Gatwick Airport and Brighton. And sometimes they do stop at Clapham Junction sometimes. Okay. With the top speed of 110 miles per hour, which is 177 kilometers an hour, I'm speeding. And the freedom to combine four car multiple and four car units into an eight car. Speed up. And a 12 car, the BR Class 387-2 EMU, is the perfect unit for the fast, regular services with plenty of space for commuters. Although built with dual voltage capability, the BR Class 387-2s EMUs receive 750, D 750 volt DC from the third rail whilst running in Brighton on the Brighton main line. So yeah, when they go up onto for example Yeah, the Great Western Express lines, East Coast Main Line, C to C line, you know, all those sorts of places. They have a pantograph. So, right. This new generation of Electrostar units includes more includes modern features such as onboard Wi Fi, air conditioning, and the latest automated passenger information boards in several languages, perfect for those visiting from across the world and arriving at Gatwick Airport. Well, that's helpful. The highly detailed and fully licensed Southern BR Class 3774 EMU and the Gatwick Express BR Class 387 EMU feature in this exciting up and coming rush hour London commuter giving you the choice of busy local passengers, passenger services and fast paced express commuter services and everything in between. So, yeah, but jumping back to the paragraph before that, let me just... Ah, uh, thank you for the raid, Ogs. Welcome, Raiders. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you're all doing well. But yeah, back to the paragraph above. Yeah, so. And... Thank you for the follow, Ford Gaming. Welcome to the stream. Yes, yeah, so back to the uh, features of the 387s. They come with Wi Fi, which is free, air conditioning, like the 377 counterparts, and I am speeding, and the latest in automatic information passenger systems in all different languages, which is really useful. So, yeah, anyway, to finish off. Rush Hour London Commuter is coming soon to train Sim World 2 on the Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Epic Game Store, and Steam Store. It will be available to purchase separately at launch or get it part of the Rush Hour season ticket alongside Boston Sprinter and Dresden. Purchase the Rush Hour Season Ticket now to save big on all three rooms. <sighs> Sorry about that guys. <laughs> Sorry that you just had to jump in when I was going through the Electrostar Dewitt Newswire. But welcome Raiders, welcome. Sorry about that Ford, sorry about that. 
<laughs> Hope you're doing well, Ford. Will the new train be any different? No. <laughs> I say the only difference with the 387 OGS is the 387 will have third rail and overhead container like pantograph and it'd be striking red and it will have Wi Fi. That's basically the only difference. Oh, and it has a little white light on the uh, thing at the front as well. Wow. Well, thank you for dropping in, uh, Ogs. If you do want to pop back in, I'm streaming all afternoon if you want to pop back in. Because, Ogs, we're going east for East Coastway, we're going underground for London Underground, and we're going north because we're going on and off Trans Pennine as well. <laughs> yeah, foul me next, guys. Oof. But yeah, also when we get to the London Underground, oh my god, I've got to go through another newswire of the 1938 stock. Wow. But yeah, nice uh, for you. Thanks for the raid as well, Ops. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, all we've got left on this route now, guys, is Falmer, Moorscombe, and Brighton. So we've got three stations left. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so if you want, as I say, I always go through news wires that come out, guys. Always. It's just, it's just my thing. Yeah, Ford Gamer, if you're still in the chat, how are you? settings there you go. that makes my chat look better so yeah we're just gonna have to wait and see to see what the route is when it comes out the uh, London commuter and yes to inform you guys that when I get hold of London commuter will I be streaming it yes I will Will we be looking at the 377 to 4 and the 387? Yes, we will. And also, don't forget, guys, you get there will be coming the Rygate route and the Red Hill route as well with the commuter. Right, 1.8 miles to Falma. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to turn the AWS on, didn't I? What's a banana? But yeah, if you've just joined guys, we are doing a run from Eastbourne to Brighton on the East Coastway in a 3774. This is the exact same 3774 you'll get when the London Commute comes out as well. 
I say if you own the season ticket guide you and you would already have Boston Sprinter and Dresden so to answer your question will you have to pay an extra 25 quid to get London commuter no you will not because if you have the season ticket you'll get London commuter when it comes out Whew. I might as well at this rate open up a talk show. <laughs> I tell you, I talk so much, it's unbelievable. Right, we're coming into uh, Falmer. is Moleskulm and Brighton. And then we will be heading underground. Do you know what guys, when London Commuter comes out I'm so tempted to do this, right? Start my driver off at Brighton. Take a go, drive a train from Brighton to London Victoria. Then walk from London Victoria to Waterloo. Get the Bakerloo line at Waterloo. Take the Bakerloo line to Paddington. And then take a train from Paddington to Reading. Just imagine that. That would just be insane. I have some crazy ideas. Right, Moore's called me in 1.7 miles. And then as I say guys, we will jump on the London Underground. Depends on how big the London... Thank you. Depends on how big the London Underground... Um, what's it called? Article is. It is kind of quite long. Yeah, it is quite long. But yeah, we'll live. So we'll have a look at to see what uh, train we can get on the underground. Just so you know guys, on the underground, when we do that line, I will not be getting out to pick up... Um, what the gold? Collectibles? No, 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 no. When I did that, I broke the train. So I, I'm not going to do that. Oh, sugar. Don't put the emergency brake on. Right, we're coming into Morscomb. And then when we get to Brighton. Oh yeah, because I did the emergency brake thingy, didn't I? What an idiot. Yeah, so when we get to Moore's Gum, when we get to Brighton, we'll end this scenario. Then we'll look for another scenario on the London Underground. And then... We'll do that run, and then we'll head up north to the North Trans Power route. Because on the North Trans Pennon route, guys, we're going to tick off the route between 
Leeds and Manchester. Finally. As I say, sadly, it's not going to be a custom scenario. Sadly. But. There is a custom. All I'm going to say. There's a custom livery. That's all I'm saying. I'm not going to reveal what the livery is. Until we get to North Transpennine. Did it. Did it. Did it in. Right. Next station stop will be Brighton, where this service will terminate. We'll change at Brighton. So when you go to Brighton, change to ch change change for services to Eastbourne, Seaford, Lewis, London Victoria, Gatwick Airport, and for all West Coastway services, and for also bus services. Yeah, so all pictures I take in this guys will be available uh, to look at on the Discord. The link to the Discord is down below this stream slash video on YouTube. So if you want to head over and you're train mad, feel free to head over, jump in the Discord, put in the chat and say, come into the chat room, say, well, it's not a dating site, don't worry guys, but we have a room called the chat room. Come in there, say hello, introduce yourself, and all that sort of thing, and yeah, we'll go from there. And now, saying guys, you can jump in the Discord, post your Train Sim World 2 pictures, Train Simulator pictures, any other game you play, because we have Train Simulator rooms, we have Derail Valley room, we have a bus room, a flight room, a trucking room. We have other games as well. We have a farming room. So yeah, do I cover just Train Sim World 2? No, I cover other stuff like tr bus sims, flight, trucking sims, farming sims. I cover a wide range of games guys, a wide range. Okay, going over the uh, bridge. So yeah, as I say guys, if you want to see any of the other content, the link to the YouTube is in the description down below, so feel free to jump on that link, have a look, and see what's what, see if you enjoy any of the content. But in we come to... Brighton, which is the terminus station of this route, and the end of the scenario. So yeah, but you see that line going up there guys, past the sidings, that is going to be the line that will take you to Gatwick Airport, London Victoria, and other places. So yeah, it'd be very interesting to see if other people might go, do you know what? I'm going to make the first Capital Connect delivery. Do you know what? I'm going to make the Thameslink delivery. That would be actually very interesting, unless people have already done it, which I don't know. It'd be very interesting to see. But 
so here we are at Brighton, the last station stop on this service. We'll take the lights off, put the tower lights on. We'll set this to going back to say, no, not not in service, you idiot. You know what, we'll set it up as going to Hastings again. Do you know what? I'm gonna be i I'm gonna be cheeky. to lock the doors as well in it, yes it is. Out the way peeps, people. Do you mind? Do guys, do you mind? Well, there's a clue. Okay, I didn't want me to lock the doors, but hey. Managed to get a picture of a clue. Oh yeah. But yeah, that took us 57 minutes and then 57 minutes and 11 seconds. We drove a distance of 23.81 miles. We walked a distance of 4.24.97 yards. And we've got action points of 9,157 action points. And we've got a bronze. Right. That's the East Coast way out of the way. That's the Electrostar Duet article out of the way. I will link that down in the description down below when this goes up on YouTube. Hello, Matthew. How are you today? Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And to inform you, am I doing well? Yes, I am. Right, we're now going to head down to the London Underground on the Bakerloo line. Because I want to go through the Baker the uh, Underground stock article from DTG. So I'm covering two articles in this stream. Which is a big wow. What have you been up to today, Matthew? Okay, I'm going to test out my livery. Right, so we've got to Queen's Park to Elephant and Castle. Elephant and Castle to Queen's Park. Harold and Wilson to Elephant and Castle. Do you know what? We're going to do an Elephant... Ele <laughs> Words. We're going to do an Elephant and Castle to Queen's Park. See if this livery actually works. <laughs> You're still waiting for Amazon. You were, waiting to, you were waiting for Amazon the other night when I was talking to you, uh, Matt. How long is Amazon taking to get a, um, what's it called, a delivery to you? Seems to be taking a while. Well, don't forget as well, Matthew, in this country we have, well, in the, if you live, if you live in the UK, don't forget we have got a lorry driver shortage. Don't forget. Right, and we want to go down here. Put the control key in. Uh, 
okay control key is in we want to do something else as well control, control, control switch Put that in, down into enter. Yeah, so Matthew, that could be another reason why your uh, package could be. Um, delayed well on the London Underground stock now so let's start on the London Duda Underground Classic so this is an article off the train scene world at, uh, DTG website guys so I'll link it below if you want to go and have a look at it Right, let's lock those doors. Let's actually see if we can get this train moving. That would be cool. Put that forward. Am I going to get my train moving? Yes, I am. Thank you very much. Right, next station is Lambeth North. Right, experience a true London veteran with Rivet Games. London Underground 1938 Chief Stock. Coming t soon to Train Sim World 2. Today we have joined, we have been joined by River Games, well we haven't guys, so don't worry. To give us a bit of an insight into the creation of the classic passenger unit. So. We'll stick, we'll, stick, we'll cut all the jargon out above. So yeah, what is unique and different about the London Underground 1938 stock? The train is a small and has a very unique seating layout with bench seats that run down the length of the train. And it also has a very classic look and I haven't, I have, well, this is the person talking guys so there's going to be a lot of eyes and stuff. He hasn't seen many trains like it. We have also built a non-driving motor unit as well as a trailer unit. As this shows how original originally ran. In the terms of difference in the looks between this and the 483, a couple of examples would be that the front of the train has a different headlight cluster and wiper layout. There are a number of changes that are different from the 483 inside the cab. It now includes the weak field control and it's remodelled so it's more authentic to the 1938 stock. Okay, that was a lot of information just to take on there. Yeah, so sorry if anybody's just jumped in and gone Oh great, what's this plank on about now? I'm talking about the Underground Classic article from DTG guys which is available on the Dovetail Games website. Same as the Electrostar, um, yeah the uh, Electrostar Dewitt article as well which I went through when we did the East Coast Way just before this. Here we come to Lambeth North. I can tell you one thing, no wonder I get bloody jaw ache on these streams. Christ. And as I say, after this guys, we will be heading to the North Trans Pennine route. For a surprise. Don't do that. I'm not going to tell you what the surprise is yet guys. Oh no. Shut up. Right, moving on. 
How does gameplay differ with the loco, this loco compared to the 1972 Mark II stock and the BR483 or the BR class 483? Well, the 1972 stock, guys, is the stock that I'm actually driving at the moment. Because this is an older train, you really feel how it, how old it is when conducting services. You'll find that this is a lot harder to stick to timetables than the 1972 Mark II. Gameplay wise, it'll be much more intense on the Bakerloo line compared to the Isle of Wight. So your concentration levels will have to be higher. Wow. So basically, it's a whole new level of concentration of there's this sort of concentration where I can just concentrate and talk to you guys in chat and then there's the concentration of right I need to focus on the cab I need to know what's going on da -da 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 -da. stuff like that so yeah that's just insane But yeah, I say, let us know in the comments down below because this is going on YouTube or let us know in the chat if you're interested in the 1938 stock that is coming to the Baker Lou line. Coming soon. Or you're just interested in the London Commuter Service which is also coming soon. Okay, we're stopping at Waterloo. What a loo. Oh, I've got that song stuck in my head now. Right, moving on to the next paragraph. Yeah, I will start when I get to this station. Oh yeah, and change here guys. If you want to change here at Waterloo, change here for National Rail Services to Portsmouth, Southampton, Bogdan Regis, Reading, Exeter St. David's, Hampton Court, and yeah. Also change also change here for services down to Portsmouth to get the hovercraft services over to the Isle of Wight. And to inform anybody who thinks the Battle of Waterloo happened at Waterloo, no, the Battle of Waterloo did not happen at London Waterloo area. No, it didn't. Oh, shush. Right, next paragraph. What research went into creating this locomotive? A lot of research went into building this locomotive. We had to decide what area we wanted to build this train in as there have been many alliterations over its years it's been around. As it's going to be played on the Bakerloo, Bakerloo route, we based on the 70s version of the 1938 stock where they made a few modifications to it. We spent a lot of time comparing old references to make sure we were as close as we, what we could be to that period of time. Wow. Okay, that's just a lot of information to just take on in that one little bit. That's like a... Wow, okay. Okay, next station is Embankment. We also spoke to DTG. Well, River Games spoke to DTG. To... No, sorry. They also spoke to the LTD, LTTG which in other words is the London Transport Traction Group who currently are restoring a 1938 stock. So, let me just stop there. So, the 1938 stock guys that ran on the Bakerloo line and ran on other lines on the underground, which I am aware of, and also ran on the Isle of Wight line they're restoring a 1938 stock so you'll be able to 
see the 1938 stock. I don't know where it's going to be stored or where they're going to put it on their show. And I don't know if it's going to be the two car variant from the Isle of Wight. Or it's going to be the humongous variant from the Bakerloo line. I don't know which one it's going to be. But yeah, it'd be nice to see a fully restored 1938 stock. Be like, wow. Right, we're coming into Embankment. So yeah, each of these stations as well, guys, don't forget that we're going through, have a slightly different look to them as well. So keep an eye on the platforms and the design of each uh, underground station as well. And also let us know in the comments, guys, if you've been on the London, London Underground before. What line, what line you've been on. Oh shush. So, they, they provided them with drawings and other information to help us provide you with the most authentic, authentic, yeah, authentic experience. By, by way of think, thanking them for their help and providing, providing reference, we included two posters that they had made inside the train that can just be about made out on the teaser shot that they released at the start of the week. So, if you go back to the teaser one they uh, showed, look for the poster. Right, next station is Charing Cross. When did you in what did you enjoy about creating the 1938 stock? As a vehicle artist, Matt really enjoyed texturing the cab. Personally, it was it's one of the most interesting parts of actually making a vehicle when you get to put the color down and work on the finer details, i.e., texturing and dirt. I, uh, he also enjoyed enjoyed seeing when they were they placed all the different units yeah all the different units were they created on on the te on their test track and seeing it drive for the first time wow They've put so much work into the 1938 stock, it's just, it sounds like to me, it's just going to be like, it's going to be a blow away. And we're coming into Air Charing Cross as well. So yeah, put in the comments down below guys, who's excited for the 1938 stock coming to the Baker Line? Baker line? The Bakerloo line coming soon. Well, the Bakerloo line isn't coming soon. The Bakerloo line is already in train sim world too. But I mean, the 1938 start coming to the Bakerloo line soon. Shush. Right, we've arrived at where have we arrived at. Actually, where are we? Oh, we're at uh, Charing Cross. Yeah, change here for services to South Southeastern services to places like Rochester, Faversham, Dover Priory, and stuff. Places like that. Right, next station stop will be Piccadilly Circus. Piccadilly Circus. Yeah, and finally, what's your favourite thing about the Classic Loco? It's one of the only trains that he has worked on. Out of the many trains that he has textured using what uses wood as one of its main materials. It has wood floors and wood pillars in the passenger area and it's really interesting to work on the train that has that sort of detail. He has really enjoyed being able to work on something 
that looks like a little bit different to what they used to today. Yeah. The 1938 stock guys, well, just looking at the pictures of it that are, are available in the article guys because I will link the article down below the pictures in it are just a blow away I just can't wait to try the 1938 stock out I really can't wait to try it And then, yes, yeah, stay up to date with London Underground 1938 stock, Train Sim World 2, and more by following Train Sim World at Twitter, on Twitter and Facebook. So, yeah, there we go, another article. So, yeah, sorry for you guys that have just come in and you've been bombarded with one or two different articles. Apologies about that. But yeah, I will link both articles down below, guys, so you can actually read them yourselves. And we're just coming to Piccadilly Circus. Change here for places like Trafalgar Square. Because I say Trafalgar Square is walking distance from Piccadilly Circus. Also, Charing Cross is walking distance from Piccadilly Circus as well. Buckingham Palace, Westminster are walking distance from Piccadilly Circus. The statue of, I think it's Napoleon, is walking distance as well. And the two lines and the National Gallery is walking distance from here as well. Right, next station. Oxford Circus. So yeah, on this journey, what we've got left is, bear with me caller, we've got Oxford Circus, Regent's Park, Baker, Baker Street, Marleybone, Edgewell Road, Paddington, Warwick, Warwick, Warwick Avenue, Maida Vale, Kilburn Park and Queen's Park. Queen's Park is where this service will terminate. And to inform you, well, this is actually in, this train is in purple. So yeah, I completely forgot that I was actually working on a livery for the 1938, that 1972 stock. It's because I've been talking about the 1938 stock. So yeah, we might look at this train, guys, when we're uh, up at Queen's Park. There might be some white carriages on it because I didn't actually cover it with the purple. But yeah, doing this line is very, very different. I say, if you're not from the UK, guys, and you've never been to the UK, the London Underground is the oldest underground running because it's over 150 years old. And I think the first ever line to be built on the London Underground, I think was the Metropolitan Line. Or I think back then it was called something else, or unless it's always been called the Metropolitan Line, I do not have a clue. Yeah, it's a very interesting um, underground system. You can get mostly all over London on the underground. And I say, if in Train Sim World 2 they go, do you know what, we're going to make another underground line. That would be amazing to see. And the reason why my controller is doing, the camera's doing that, guys, is because my controller is being stupid. Right, here we come to Oxford Circus.
Shush. But yeah, as I say, Matthew, if you're still watching, I hope you get your air package at some point. I really do. Right, lock those doors. Right, next station stop will be Regent's Park. Which you can get off to go to, well, Regent's Park. And after Regent's Park, we're going to Baker Street, Marleybone, Edgewell Road, Paddington. Yeah, so we're starting to get close to where I broke the train last time, so... Don't know how the hell I broke the train, I really don't know how to call it. Yeah, as I say guys, when we complete this, we will go to the North Trans Pennine route for the surprise. So yeah, as I say, for the East Coast Way run that I did, you need the East Coast Way DLC for that. For this run, well, for this route that I'm doing now, you do not need any DLC because the London Baker Loo line comes through Train Sim World 2 anyway, so... Okay, and we come to Regent's Park. Just looking at the uh, mirror. Right, off to Baker Street, where the great, well, according to the history, is where the. Actually, no. Was it Baker Street or Pudding Lane? Hmm. I was going to check something. Okay. The Great Fire of London did not start on Baker Street. No, it started on uh, Pudding Lane. So I don't know much history about Baker Street. I say probably Baker Street had a baker's shop on it. I don't know.
Oh, that's it. Those pictures on the side have just given me a clue. What's at Baker Street? I knew there was something famous about Baker Street. I bloody know it. Baker Street is famous for Sherlock Holmes. I thought so. Well, I didn't think it was famous for Sherlock Holmes, but I knew it was famous for something. Right, Marleybone, or Marleybone. I don't know what's, which way is the correct way to say it, I do not have a clue. Okay, that went really dark then for a moment. But yeah, at Marleybone, you can change here for National Rail Services, which are Chiltern Railway Services, to Birmingham, sorry, Oxford, Bicester Village, Birmingham Moor Street, Birmingham Stone Hill. Wherever else Chiltern Railways call out. But yeah, Marleybone, the home of Chiltern Railways at the moment. Same as Charing Cross is the home of South Eastern at the moment. Same as London Waterloo is home of. South Western Railway. And there's also a clue over there on that on that um, wall. If you didn't see it as we came in, what Marleybone used to be called. I can't actually um, use the camera to get out the cab to show you. As we depart, if you look at there, Great Central. Marleybone was going to be called, is used to be called Great Central Station. Well, Great Central Underground Station. Now there is a bit of history. Right, next station stop is Edgware Road. Yeah, hello to anybody who is watching. If you're watching this on YouTube or you're watching this on the Twitch, hello and welcome. We are doing a 1972 underground stock run from Elephant and Castle to Queen's Park. We are not doing the full underground line. As I say, the full underground line runs from Elephant and Castle to Harold and Wilsdon. So 
So, Edgware Road. The next station stop after this is Paddington. Yeah, I think I've hit the point now where I broke the train last time. Yeah, I think I broke the train here at uh, Edgware Road. Right, off to Paddington. The famous place for Paddington Bear. And Paddington Bear, the first film was filmed at, a little bit was filmed at Paddington Station. If you saw the part where Paddington is chasing after a steam engine, that leaves, yeah, that leaves from London Paddington. And right at the beginning of the film, when London, when Paddington arrives, into London, he comes on in onto London Paddington, and as I say, when the Paddington comes in, he doesn't have a name, so he's just called the Bear. So therefore, do you know what? We'll give him a name, and yeah, they go. Do you know what? We'll call you Paddington. Because they found him at Paddington Station. Is there a statue of Paddington at Paddington Station? Yes, there is. And you can also change at London Paddington for National Rail Services. To places like Penzance, Plymouth, Cardiff Central, Swansea, Oxford, Great Malvern, Reading, Paynton as well. And you can also change for Heathrow Express Services to Heathrow Airport. Terminal 5 and change here also for TFL rail services to Heathrow's terminal, Heathrow terminals 1, 2, 3 and 4. As I'm recording this on the 25th of September 2021, Heathrow, uh, um, Heathrow terminal 4 is out of use. Also, London Paddington is also part of the Cross Rail Cross Per Eliz line. So, let me break that. Let me put that into proper words. It's Cross Rail. Well, the people who've made it is Cross Rail. The line is purple, and it's named the Elizabeth Line. So, the Per Per Cross Cross Per Eliz line. There we go, bit of a mouthful. Yeah, we'll soon run from London Paddington, so you'll be able to get from Paddington to Reading to Heathrow Airport. And then you'll also be able to go below London to get to places like Abbey Wood, Shenfield, Liverpool, Lon London Liverpool Street, Farringdon. All sorts of places like that and I don't know why when I was saying Liverpool Street I was gonna say Liverpool Lime Street I seem to do that but yeah next station is Warwick Avenue and yes for information on the underground guys I get it from YouTube videos and stuff that I watch Because I've watched a lot of people that travel on the underground. Uh, I've been on the underground. So. I say I've been on the Piccadilly line. I've been on the Central line. I've been on the Hammersmith and City line. I've been on the Circle line. Actually. I 
I think I did go on the Bakerloo line to get to Waterloo. I've been, I think I've been on the Northern line as well. I've been on so many different lines. Right, here we come to Warwick Avenue. So, how far are we from the end? What have we got left? Maida Vale, Kilburn Park, and Queen's Park. So, we've got. Yeah, we've got literally three stations left. That's just nuts. Sorry, that double clicking, guys, I do, do not know what that is. Right, next off, next off, next station is Maida Vale. And we'll actually have to take this train into the sidings as well, so. But yeah, after Kill. Yeah, Kilburn Park is underground. The underground comes up above ground near Queen's Park, so. And then, yeah, when we've terminated and put this train into the sidings at Queen's Park, we will jump on to the Leeds to Manchester line. And I will bring you my surprise. Actually, when we get to Queen's Park, should be able to I should be able to see if this whole train is actually painted. Right, here we come to you, Maid of Ale. Yeah, so as I say, if they get rid right, here's a question for you guys, even in the chat, if anybody's still watching. What are they going to do with the 1972 stock when it comes out of service? I don't know. Right, next station stop is Kilburn Park. And we've got Queen's Park after this. Do you know what? 
I can't wait for DTG to do a, um, you know the four, four person race they do. I can't wait for DTG to do a four person race on the London Underground, doing the whole route from Elephant and Castle to, where is it? Oh yeah, Harold and Wilsdon. I actually had to think then. And yeah, to inform everybody as well, again, I have looked at Dresden, I have looked at Boston Sprinter, I've looked at both of those routes. I've also, I'm also going to be looking at London Commuter when it comes out as well, so don't worry. Right, here we come to Kilburn Park. Which is actually the last station that is actually underground on the Bakerloo line. Because the next station after this, which is Queen's Park, is actually above ground. Sorry guys, I'm grab, just having a drink. Right. Queen's Park, where this service will terminate. Next station, Queen's Park. I think also the 1972 stock, I think it used to be silver as well, going back years ago. before they added this uh, London Underground livery on it. Because I say, as you can kind of guess, the 1972 stock has been around since... 1972. Obvious. Right, as you can see, you can see some daylight ahead of us. So that means we're coming out of the underground tunnels. So nice this 1972 stock. Oh, and it's got not in service on it. Fair enough. And out we come into the daylight. And that's the West Coast Main Line beside us. But yeah, this is where this train will terminate at Queen's Park. It's actually been a really nice service, except I'm running 20 minutes late. Oh, shush. Thank you. 
Right, we should be able to check the train on the outside now. There we go, it's in purple! Let's just check the whole train. Yep, the whole train's actually purple. And the white blodges, guys, is where I, I would have, if I was doing this on PC, would have put the logo. But because I can't put my own logo on these trains in the Xbox version, that's why I've just got white splodges there. Same as down the other side, I've got white splodges as well. But yeah, that's Queen's Park. Right, let's make sure that my route is actually set. Yes, it is. Right, let's go and put this train into the depot. Actually, we'll just stop a sec. Stop. Sorry, I just want to take a picture of my train. There we go. I've now broken the bloody train now, haven't I? Right, is my train actually going to move? Right, let me just unlock the doors again. Right, what have I done? Right, I've done, I've done something. I'm gonna have to reset the system, aren't I? I did this last time. But yeah, anyway, we've reached the end of the route anyway, so we've just got a bit 
stuck here. But yeah, at least I've got some pictures of my train. So let's move on to the next route, which will be the final route. <laughs> Hello Trains2005, how are you? Welcome to the stream by the way. Purple Train, yeah I need to tell, I need to tell Jeff. <laughs> right, we're moving on now. We're moving on up. Right, sorry about that. Right, let's jump on to the North Trans Pennine, which we're going to do the lead to Manchester run now. Sadly, we won't be calling it every single station, sadly. But at least look at it this way we're going to have a classic train. So yeah, this one with the uh, circular things is one of the class 40 liveries. Here's the other class 40 livery that you can get with the BR Heavy Freight Pack guys. Here's a livery I'm actually working on. And here's the livery we're going to use. <laughs> We yeah, we'll take the uh, westbound service. Hang on, I've already done that one. So let's do one we haven't done. Okay, leads to Manchester Victoria. So yeah, in this stream, guys, you've had East Coast Way, where we talked about the Electro Stars. You've had London Underground, where we talked about the nineteen eight. 1938 stock. Now it's time for the special. Right, leads to Manchester. On this service we will be calling it Dewsbury, Huddersfield, Staley Bridge and Manchester Victoria. So yeah, this is the class 40. Hello love, how are you today? Let's just clamber up here a second. On the lever, yes, I can. I need to put the master key in. Right, let's just put some lights on as well. Instrument light. No, I don't want tail lights. Have like you, I love you. 
a root indicator. Oh, shush. Well, here it is, guys. That's the surprise. You'll probably recognise this engine. If you've ever watched... Let me just get away in a second. Yeah, if you've ever watched Thomas the Tank Engine, I don't mean the CGI series. I mean the Railway series, which was books, or the television series. You would probably remember a loco called D261, which is actually diesel. Here it is, a diesel 261. Or as he sometimes got called in the series, Class 40. We've got to wait just for a red light a second. So yeah, eight miles to Dewsbury. So we're calling it Dewsbury, Huddersfield, Staley Bridge and Manchester, Victoria. So yeah, this is the last journey of the North Trends Pennine that I'm doing today, guys. Not last one. I think we're waiting for a train to come in. Is what we're waiting for. Yeah, we're waiting for a uh, 101 service. Right, where's that 101 unit? There it is, it's panning in. Yeah, because it cuts across the line that I'm using. Actually, it's coming up the same platform, or unless it's going to veer off from going to the platform next to me. It's going to go into that bay platform. Hopefully it's going to go into the bay platform because then I can... Get on with my journey. De -de 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 -de. Yeah, it's going into the bay platform. Excellent. Which is right next to me. Yeah, we've also got a class 45 over there, 101.
See, as you can see, guys, it's not my Xbox that's causing the um, destinations to go skewy with. Because as you can see there, the Leeds destination screen is actually alright. Anyway, let's crack on and let's get to Dewsbury. Okay, when my train decides to actually move, there we go, We're on the way to Dewsbury, then Huddersfield, Staley Bridge, and Manchester Victoria. So yeah guys, if you want to see what a class 40 or diesel 261 look like from Thomas the Tank Engine series just type it into the Google and you'll see exactly what it looks like. I say I can't put the face of diesel 1216 or class 40 on the front because there's no template for that. Yeah guys I was working on this at half past two, three o'clock this morning, this livery, to get this livery ready for the stream, well for the route of Leeds to Manchester Victoria, because I wanted to make it a bit special. I was going to do a custom route, but then couldn't find the liveries that I needed to use for the custom route, which was a pain in the ass. So I thought, Right, my second plan is, is to use a loco that I've got in the livery which is already connected to a set, which is already on a route I'm just going to have to do it like that Yeah, I say, we might see other trains along the way that I've probably repainted, we might not Who knows As I say, I'll probably have about three of the liveries on this route. Three. So, for example, the other the British Railways Class 40, you might see that. Diesel, which is a black Class OH Hunter. And we might see Paxton livery as well, because I have done Paxton. So, yeah. Yeah, ha ha ha. So yeah, as I say, I've stuck to most of my promise bringing a custom loco to the journey. I say the green may not be right. 
yeah in the comments guys you've got this far on youtube in the comments feel free to comment down below and go sim hub that green doesn't look right it needs to be this color green and i'll be like thank you guys i will sort that out thank you It's bad that Little Sinker isn't in. Even though Little Sinker's playing a uh, train scene world to himself, it's bad that he hasn't popped in and gone, Hello! Or, I'm lurking. There goes a 101 in the opposite direction. But yeah, every single screenshot, guys, I take in. Um, Train Sim World 2 does actually land up on the Discord, so. Right, 7.3 miles to Dewsbury. But yeah, put down in the comments as well, guys, if you want to see any other train Thomas the Tank Engine characters in the on the uh, live locos that I can actually work with. It's like. If there's any other loco, any other characters that are on class 40, um, if there's any other characters that are on class 08 that I've probably missed out. I'd say if there's any characters on any other livery, liveries, any other locos that I do own, please let me know down in the comments. Right, 6.3 miles to Dewsbury. Yeah, as I say guys, sadly this is going to be my last run on Train Sim World today on the 25th of September 2021. Because I'll be ending this stream and then I'll be coming back with something else just to wind my day out. Yeah, I will be back tomorrow, guys, with something. Could be some more trains in World 2. Could be something else. I do not have a clue as of yet. Yeah, whatever it is, I'll have to wait and see. Yeah, I'm going to be streaming, guys, between, well, today, which is Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So, for the next basically three days and then Wednesday the 29th of September I am having that day off from streaming so no streams on the 29th of September 2021 there will be none and that will be guys my first day off within two weeks of streaming. I've literally streamed 11-12 days now straight which is just insane. Most of that's been trained in World 2 
and just other games. Five miles to Dewsbury now. Six miles to Jews Green. I have to tap that on, guys, so I can see in tunnels as well. Miles and miles, miles. I literally cannot talk today. Two point six miles to La Jusbrier. Hi little sinker, how are you? I know you're lurking, I know you're streaming. Because I just hopped into your stream to just go, hello. But there is my creation, little sinker. Have a proper look at that when we get to Dewsbury. But yeah, from I know you can't I know you can't hear me, but from what you've seen, put it down in the comments or chat what you think of my creation. Yeah, we're not stopping at this station, so I'm going a little bit fast to stop at that station. I 
Oh, don't worry, little sinker. I have got a screenshot already taken of the livery. <laughs> but I'm getting out at uh, Dewsbury to have another look around there. And I've put too much brake on as well. Um, yeah, so on this route, guys, we're coming at Dewsbury, Huddersfield, Staley Bridge, and Manchester Victoria. Or should we say in the proper words of a Yorkshire person, Woodisfield. So I've got a funny feeling Woodisfield is going to be about eight miles from Jewsbury. At least in this train I've learned actually how to put the AWS actually on. I wonder if at Uddersfield there'll be um, a shunt around or something. Yeah, say so in the Thomas uh, tank engine railway series. I don't know if diesel 261 or should we say class 40 actually pulled any passenger carriages. I don't know. Or else he just did freight only. still have me throttle on. Oh, shush. Well, here it is in all its glory again, guys. Diesel 261, or Class 40. Okay, 6.9 miles to uh, Audisfield. Why was I thinking Dewsbury when I'm actually at Dewsbury?
I just love that sound. Yeah, like as I said guys, this livery that I'm driving at the moment, yeah, I was working on this at 3 o'clock this morning. Yeah, 3 o'clock. Well, between half past 2 and 3 o'clock this morning, because I say I wanted to get it ready. Because I actually wanted to get the Manchester, no, Leeds to Manchester Victoria stream actually done. So I know it's mixed up between the East Coast Way, DLC, the London Underground, I know it's all mixed up, but I thought, because I'm doing British routes, I thought, you know what, shove it right at the end. I say I will, down in the description down below guys, if you're watching this on YouTube, I will put down in the description at the time of this this part of the DLC so you can actually see it. Yeah, we've got Uddisfield, Stay Bridge and Manchester Victoria. So we're on an express service. And we're kind of on an express service, kind of. miles to Huddersfield now and then I'll see you um, Huddersfield if we've got any um, shunters Luckily enough we're under 50, so... Say at three o'clock this morning, guys, when I was doing this livery, I actually learned that you can actually put numbers on the side of trains, which I actually didn't realize until I clicked on this for text. So that was it. It was like, hey. yeah, it was like, do you want to put numbers? I was like, I didn't even realize I could put numbers. Wow. Yeah, I put numbers on this loco. So 
yeah, for the other livery I've been working on, which is the Thetter livery, which is on the AS ACS 64, I will be putting numbers on that one as well. Make, I can make the low coast look a bit more realistic. Which I'm wondering, can, yeah, I can put letters on as well. Letters, numbers. So yeah, I can do all sorts. There you go, all sorts. Big push all sorts. 2.6 miles to Buddhisfield. I'm gonna blame a trumpet at my moment, guys. Valley that does this as well. Did it didn't did it didn't did it. So yeah, I like welded sorry. I don't like welded track. I like it where they've um like clumped it together like this. It's probably not the right word, but you know what I mean. Right, 1.1 miles, well, one mile into Uddisfield now. Well, as I say, I'll see if there's a shunter. Shunter might be in blue, the shunter might be in livery, the shunter might be in diesel's livery, the shunter might be in I don't have a clue livery, even though I don't know which livery that actually is. Because I don't know. Right, I just feel it is straight in front.
Right, slowly coming into Uddisfield up now. Right, I'm just going to get out of the cab. Just going to nip down the uh, back to see uh, over on the sidings to see if there's any shunters. Probably won't be any shunters. Hey mate, excuse me, thank you. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Well, there isn't a wait. But it's not in diesel delivery. Oh, and there's also a 47. Is there a debris? Oh, there is a debris there. Hoping for that 08 to be in diesel's delivery. Is it going to be about 10 miles? Okay, 16 miles to Staley Bridge. So we've got quite a way to go to Staley Bridge now. Let's get those 16 miles down. Now once we've got those 16 miles down, it'll probably be about a three mile run to Manchester, Victoria. Yeah, like I said guys, it depends on how much time I've got after this stream to throw another stream in.
Yeah, as I say, if I say, I know people are going to go, well, you've done the class 40 livery from, Tom, from Thomas. Why haven't you got red buffers? The reason why I haven't got red buffers, guys, is, well, I wasn't able to do them. So yeah, I tried to get the red square down to those buffers last night. But it didn't work. It was like, no, you're not doing that. I'm like, you did. Everybody needs somebody. Chuggington. I don't know why I'm thinking Chuggington. I do not have a clue. Some Staley Bridge now. Staley Bridge. Must be very stale at Staley Bridge. It must be. Do, 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 do. Yeah, just sat back chilling, letting the loco do its stuff while we're cutting down 13 miles to Staley Bridge.
we're cutting down slowly. <clears throat> yeah, but for anybody who wants to know, this is the plus 40 from the BR Heavy Freight Pack. A separate DLC to this DLC. The DLC I am on is North Trends Pen. Okay, we're 9.5 miles away now. something just went the opposite direction Alright, 7.8 miles.
Right, so coming down to 45. I think that was my other livery. Just watching it on my uh, other screen as well. So I got a funny feeling that was my other livery. Yeah, that actually looked like my other livery. So there you go guys, you've just seen a second livery of mine. A second one. Even though we whooshed past it, you still saw it. Right, we're 5.5 miles away from Stady Ridge. And then after that we've just got Manchester Victoria and then that is it. That is another look at passenger well sorry, freight and passenger from North Trans Pennine. Right, 3.6 miles to Staley Bridge. Yeah, as I say for creations guys, I have three class 52s in liveries, an ACS 64 in a Scepter livery, I have two class 08s in Thomas the Tank Engine liveries of Diesel and Paxton, I have an F7 that I'm working on to do a Union Pacific livery in and yeah, well, so yeah I've got 352s in Maroon, Desert and Green, an ACS 64 in Scepter livery, 
That's 40 in BR Green livery. F7 in working into the Union Pacific livery. Then I've got Diesel. I've got Paxton. And now I've got this one, which is either named Class 40 or Diesel 261 from Thomas the Tank Engine. But this is from Thomas the Tank Engine railway stories when before CGI, way before. If I ever come back to North Trans Pennine route again guys and do, I don't know, another route in a 47, a 45 or anything like that, you might see this livery somewhere parked up or on a run or something somewhere. So. say guys more Thomas and Friends creations coming along soon I say put if you've got this far on YouTube guys feel free to put down in the description if there's any other Thomas the Tank Engine creations you want me to try and make so any other live so any other locos that are in Friends in World 2, like the Class 08 or anything like that, or the Class 40. Yeah, I'll try and make them. Right, 1.1 miles from Steerley Bridge. It might just finish in time for 4 p.m. And then, as I say, once I finish this stream, guys, I'll be I'll maybe checking myself over to another stream. So, And there it goes in the other direction on a freight job. So that's two diesel 261s you've just seen there guys. Two. say the one I'm driving and the one that just went the opposite way in the oil. It's because we're coming up into Staley Bridge now.
so it'd be nice also guys when we get steam in this game that will actually be nice because well then you could probably do some other Thomas, Ta Thomas the Tank Engine creations like Auden, Henry, Edward, Thomas, Percy stuff like that James Douglas and Donald and yeah Emily Right, 7.3 miles into Manchester, Piccadilly. Sorry, wrong station actually. I meant to say Manchester, Victoria. I was nearly about to say Manchester Oxford Road and that's the wrong station again. You're right over there, love. You've been very quiet.
but six are coming up shortly as well. Rotary six miles from Manchester Victoria. So yeah, we're six by well, actually 5.7 miles away from the end of this route and the end of this stream. Diesel 261 will be over. green line there guys I know I've got a few little alterations to do on it but other than that I think I've done really well okay the green might be a bit too light as well I think This is Manchester we're coming into now. Manchester. Two 
two miles from Manchester now. Now it's the slow roll into Manchester, Victoria, where this um, journey comes to an end. Yeah, it's been another fun stream, guys. It's been another fun one. We've done the East Coast way. We've done the London Underground. We've done this route. Old Trans Pennine, there we go. Went through the articles of the uh, what was it? The Electric Star Duet and the Underground Classic. We went through those two articles as well in both stream, like in this stream. So yeah, we've done quite a bit. one miles left of this journey which has been incredible Seven miles and counting down. A journey, well, a long journey it's been. We've gone from East Coast, Underground London, to North, L North London? Sorry, North England. So we've gone from the East of England, or should we say the South of England, <clears throat> to underneath London, to the North of England. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
kind of there we go. What an amazing run. Took us one hour, 21 minutes and 20 seconds. Driven distance, 42.93 miles. Distant walk, 0 0.9 miles. Action points of 7,494. But yeah, there we go guys. I know I said at the beginning of the stream, I might squeeze another stream in at the end of this. Well, I've just looked at the time. It's 10 past four in the UK. There won't be another stream today, guys. There won't be. Next stream will be tomorrow. There will be some more trains in world. <sighs> yeah, there will be some more trains in world. But the first game, guys, there's going to be some... Um, Subnautica first, below zero. Then we're going to do some trains in world on the Pen Corridor. Doing the gallery camp from... San Joe's to San Francisco and then after that I might see if well I might do another like I don't know I might show you like the other another route I'm gonna work on after that or you know but we'll just see how it goes guys but yeah, thank you all for watching. We've got some thank yous to say before we go, guys. Some thank yous. Thank, per thank yous. I literally could not talk today. <laughs> I'm having one of those days when I was like, did it. Yeah, so. Well, I'm going to say a thank you from a follow yesterday to Ben Burnett123 followed yesterday as I just finished the stream he followed. So I'm going to say thank you. I'm going to say thank you to Ox for the raid of Party of Four. Thank you very much, Ox. And thank you for the follow from Ford Gaming 3016. Thank you very much, guys. But yeah, so I'll be back tomorrow, guys, with something else. Well, I've just explained what I'm back with. But yeah, thank you to all the guys in chat for Ox popping in, Matthew popping in. Um, trains 2005 popping in, little sinker popping in. Thank you for all popping in, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really do appreciate it. But yeah, if you enjoy this sort of content, guys, and you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. It really, really does help. And can I say as well, thank you to all the subscribers that have subscribed. Thank you. And yeah. All the links to the socials will be down below, like the Discord, the YouTube, and the Twitch. And I'll put a link to East Coast Way, North Trans Pennine, BR Heavy Freight Pack, the two articles that I read out. And I'll also put a link to the season ticket. So, you guys, if you really want to spend £35 are getting the season ticket for Boston Sprinter, Dresden and London Commuter. It will save you over 40 quid. But if you want all three routes and you don't want the season ticket, you'll be paying about 75 quid. But yeah, enough of that. But anyway guys, thank you all for watching. Have a great rest of the day, whatever time it is. Morning, afternoon, evening, night time. Whatever time it is, stay safe. Follow the rules. And I'll catch you next time, guys. See you later.